What do GGOS, Atlas OS and Ghost Spectre all have in common? They're all featured in this video, dummy. Oh, and there are also gaming custom ISOs. So join me in today's video where I compare these three gaming ISOs and just have a general look at the operating system, have a, have a look at compatibility and then compare the performance in six different games. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right, that brings us to our first custom OS, which is Atlas OS. And I gotta say, it's very minimal, it's very clean. I like the look of it. It's not the most straightforward ISO to install, but it's once you get the hang of it, it is actually pretty straightforward. It, as mentioned, it's very clean. I have installed a couple of programs just to compare apples to apples. Obviously, um, obviously I use GeForce Experience for recording gameplay, so I thought to make a fair comparison, let me just install GeForce Experience. Uh, obviously MSI Afterburner to capture, uh, OBS, Opera, but it's, it's all fairly lightweight. Um, the one thing I wasn't a massive big fan of is by default, the timer resolution was set to 15.625 milliseconds. And um, as of Windows 17.09, the timer resolution for Windows used to be 0.5. It hasn't been so. So I, I just had to install Intelligent Standby List Cleaner just to get that timer resolution as close as possible to 0.5. But other than that, um, a pretty clean installation of Windows. I like it. Um, you'll see in my benchmarks, uh, in terms of gaming performance, it definitely has its pros. It does have one or two cons though. Uh, in terms of stock standard how it runs, it's not bad. Okay, look, I am using OBS, so this isn't a real true reflection. I did take screenshots at rest. So you can see, yeah, the memory usage, I've got 16 gigs of RAM. Memory usage is really not bad. It's pretty clean. And this is after I installed a couple of apps. And then in terms of Windows processes, it's cut a lot of junk out. As you can see the Windows processor is 31. There were one or two things that I was still able to disable above and beyond uh, a stock install because this is a pretty optimized custom ISO. Like um, in terms of apps, I could go into optional features, take some stuff out there. There wasn't really much in terms of, like the Visual++ Plus Plus packages are pre-installed which is pretty cool. Generally a very, very well optimized little custom ISO. Um, I do still prefer just a straight Windows install, but yeah, I like Atlas OS. If you're gonna use a custom ISO, this ain't bad. Right, so guys, for our next custom ISO, I'm having a look at GGOS. If you couldn't guess by the, the very crappy wallpaper I put on here. Now, first and foremost, this was a lot easier to install than uh, Atlas OS. Um, it's also very lightweight, it's very clean. However, look, the, um, once you set up the ISO, they, they do provide you with setup um, folders and some help, etc, etc. But it is a bit of a pain in the ass downloading all the drivers. And because I am in a bit of a rush trying to compare all these OS's, I didn't even, I tried for about 10 or 20 minutes to find the right audio drivers, I couldn't, which kind of sucks. But I'm not going to be using this operating system, so it doesn't matter. Uh, in terms of what it looked like, uh, uh, what the usage is like, obviously this isn't a true reflection because I'm recording at the moment. So very similar to very similar to atlas os so it just spiked up to six percent there but generally it's one percent and then twelve percent on memory which is pretty clean and then the windows process is as you can see it's down to 30 so it is very nice and clean um yeah the i'd say the main barrier to entry is actually uh, the fact that like it's a bit of a pain to download the drivers but like once you do install the ISO 
Um, there is uh, uh, like there are little backup files where you can install a browser, install a latest NVIDIA driver, um, and then you can use a Snappy Drive installer, which they preload, which is quite cool. But if you're looking for bare bones, but also simplicity, uh, bare bones simplicity, but also at the time, same time convenience, I wouldn't say GGIS is the right way to go. Um, so in one of my benchmarks, The Last of Us, I wouldn't even run. Now this operating system is based off Windows 20 H2 and I think due to that the SDK is just too old for The Last of Us. So I'm not going to go into the numbers here but you can see I couldn't even open that game. But generally the operating system performs well if you really want to go for this, you're more than welcome to. But so far I'd say Atlas OS tax. Okay, right, next, optim uh, next customer OS is go specter who do you which one do you think is going to be the best and finally that brings us to our last custom iso which is go specter hands down the best looking custom iso out of the three that i tested so ggos is completely bare bones atlas is simple bare bones good performance and Ghost Spectre is almost like a full version of Windows 10, just slightly lighter. It's got a Ghost Toolbox, which is an awesome little uh, run directory. You can install a whole bunch of uh, different softwares via Ghost Toolbox. But if you want bare bones, Ghost Spectre is not for you. If you want a slightly lighter version of Windows 10, then Ghost Spectre is probably your baby. But uh, yeah, I had to do quite, uh, as you can see, it's all nice and clean, but I had to do quite a bit of optimization in the window setting, in the window settings, as well as services, services, there was tons and tons of services that I actually had to disable to get this up to scratch. Um, and then just in terms of usage, Okay, obviously I'm using uh, OBS Studio, so that's not going to work there. So I took a screenshot, and as you can see, it's very similar. Uh, like the opt, this is very similar to my my optimized Windows 10, because um, this is just basically a slightly lighter Windows 10. Um, and then in terms of processes, also very low, but higher than the others. But Yet again, guys, this is by far the best looking custom ISO, but go away now. Now I'm going to do some benchmarks. Right, and now we get to the part of the video where we have a look at the performance of each and every operating system. So I did all my standard op um, optimizations to all the different um, uh, operating systems. And let's actually get started with Atlas OS. So for Atlas OS, and this is going to be the same for all the different operating systems, all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of Returnal that I test at low settings using FSR 2.0, uh, using FSR balanced because unfortunately my system is under spec. And then, um, and this is a very important point here guys, in all my benchmarks, on all my tests on my channel, I test single player games. I don't play online uh, online games. So your mileage might vary if you play online. Then just furthermore, um, obviously I test on GTX, not RTX. Um, and I'm using the latest driver, 531.68. So for Atlas IS, I tested six games. Um, and then basically I added up all the average FPSs. For Atlas OS, I actually got the highest average FPS total. Divide that by, well, it's actually by six. Divide that by six. And my average FPS per game was 66.83. And then yet again, my 1% lows added it up. Yet again, got my highest 1% low of all the operating systems at 259. Divide that by six. And my average 1% lows of 43.17. When I divide 43.17 by the average FPS, it gave me a stability reading of 64.60. Um, not my highest stability out of all the games, but definitely my highest average FPS and my highest 1% lows. It's just a pity that there's such a big gap between the 1% lows and the average FPS 
whilst the stability would have been best. But guys, to be quite honest, it's, it's very close between all these uh, different operating systems. And that's the funny part. A lot of effort for pretty much the same results. But let's get to it. GDOS, this is the operating system I don't really recommend. Um, yeah, uh, not necessarily difficult to install, but uh, once you have the operating installed, updating your drivers and getting things not to break can be problematic. I could see using this operating system over uh, a long course of time actually being a bit of a pain in the ass. So anyways, I'm gonna go breeze through this one quickly. Last of Us, I couldn't get to run because it's based on Windows 20 H2. I don't know if that's the reason, but no matter what I did, The Last of Us just would not run on GGIS. Um, so basically these these benchmarks don't really count for much because it's different. Only five games, not six games. Um, total average, uh, total FPS over not, uh, six game or five games was 355 divided by 5 is 71 but guys yet again these results don't really count because my criteria is different um so yeah guys don't recommend ggis it's bare bones but unless you install all the drivers you need things can break and then we get to ghost specter ghost specter is an interesting one it's basically it's windows 10 just a slight bit lighter Lighter in the sense that you don't have to do as much optimization, but it's pretty much just it's Windows 10. Like it's for me, it's almost exactly like my Windows 10 optimized. But go spec to you just have to do less optimization because optimization is already built in. But out of all these operating systems, it's probably the operating system that I had to do the most optimizations to get to my current uh, build of Windows 10. But go spec that it looks nice and it actually the performance ain't too bad, eh? Um, over the six games, my my total FPS was 396 divided by six, and then my average F, uh, my my average FPS per game is 66. And then once I add up all the one percent lows, I get to a total of 252 divided by six, and my average one percent lows of 42. And then that gives me a stability reading. When I divide the 1% lows by the, by the average FPS of 63.64. Guys, this one is very easy to install. It's just like installing a normal Windows. In fact, it's it's like a, it's just an optimized Windows 10 with a, with, with a cool um, theme on it. Because <laughs> it's damn easy to install and the only difference really is the theme. To be quite honest. But it looks very cool. And then just lastly, my standardized optimized windows, the one that I base all my testing on, is over the six games, my total FPS is, is 388 divided by six, and my average FPS per game is 64.66. And then I do the same for my 1% lows, and my average 1% low is 42.17. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, Give, gives me a stability of 65.29 but uh which as you can see guys the results are very close to each other but um if you want a raw performance at this os is probably going to be your best bet if you want the least optimization and a cool looking theme go for uh, go specter and if you want to learn how to work with computers just stick to windows and watch my videos i'll teach you how to optimize windows Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.